I'm talking to Stefan Magdalinski, who is the general manager of e-commerce for Sub-Saharan Africa for the MIH Group. Stefan, what is the MIH Group? So MIH is a uh, media company. It's part of the NASPERS Group, which uh, has um, digital uh, satellite TV interests and in, in, in DSTV. Um, actually has newspaper and print publishing interests in South Africa as well, but is a uh, general e-commerce, gaming, um, internet company that focuses on emerging and developing markets. So we have a uh, big interest in China, we own a big chunk of mail.ru in Russia, other things in, in South America and Southeast Asia, and we are, I'm part of a, a small team that is um, expanding into uh, the newly, um, mostly mobile-based, um, technologically developing economies in, in Africa, particularly Sub-Saharan Africa. So. Describe some of the businesses you're invested in. So in Sub-Saharan Africa, we have I have three main businesses under me. There's, uh, there's Dealfish, which is a classified advertising platform, which is in uh, nine Sub-Saharan African countries, but primarily uh, Kenya and Nigeria and Ghana. Um, and then we have uh, Kalahari, um, which is in Kenya and Nigeria, which is a um, full-service e-commerce retailer, so electronics, DVDs, books. Um, those kinds of things. And then we have Macality, which is currently only in Kenya, which is an um, online business directory. So um, think yellow pages, but with a lot more. And how does um, a company like Macality collect data? Because it's always getting data in Africa is, so, a, is so a real problem. We have a, a, a pretty unique um, crowdsource model for doing this. Uh, traditionally, you know, yellow pages will have a, will have a call center or uh, you know, full of people who are ringing up businesses. Uh, it's a very labor intensive, it's a very expensive process. In, in the developed world, for example, in the UK, there's actually very well maintained um, central government databases of all the businesses and you can just go and buy into that and you can launch your website on the back of that. Um, similar things don't exist in Kenya, so we uh, created a crowdsource model where anyone with a mobile phone um, can sign up and start walking around the streets and adding business information and giving us their phone numbers and adding in all the detail. Um, and we actually, via M-Pesa, this fantastic mobile money platform in Kenya, um, uh, reward people and pay people for helping us build the database. Um, it's all, from the business perspective, it's all opt-in and, and, and um, uh, you know, they don't have to be there if they don't want to, but it's, it's helped us uh, acquire a, um, a powerful database very quickly. It's unique in the world. And what's the use levels at the moment? How many, how many people are you getting on? We, um, in terms of number of businesses signed up, we are uh, in Nairobi at I think about the 70, 80,000 mark at the moment. Um, we are continuing to expand that. We, we, we're going to get uh, even higher. We're now reaching out into Mombasa and Kisumu. We launched uh, the consumer side because we wanted to build the database first. Uh, we launched the consumer side in uh, at the beginning of September and we've seen um, fantastic month-on-month -month growth ever since. Um, I, I, I have some sort of good anecdotal evidence which I, I go to Nairobi now and I meet people who've made Mocality the, the home page on their phone because you know, that's the easiest way for them to find stuff. What's, what's the level of unique visits or hits just as an order of magnitude? Um, I can't share that at this point in time. Okay, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands? I can't share that, commercial sense. No problem. What is the overall strategy of MIH in setting up these kinds of businesses? So, um, we, we're interested in, in a broad range of e-commerce sites. If you look at you know, the kinds of things we do in other countries, is that we, we typically have a bunch of investments in all different parts of, uh, of the e-commerce chain. So we'll invest in classifieds, we'll invest in uh, actual e-commerce retailers. We're also interested in social platforms, although um, Facebook is so dominant in uh, the sub-Saharan African markets that we we haven't yet seen the right thing. Um, we also look for, you know, generally, uh, the stuff that I've done so far has been built and we've taken something that we've used somewhere else in the world and we've, we've launched it um, uh, or we've homegrown it like, like McCallity. Um, more often, we, the model is for us to invest in uh, local companies and local management teams. And um, part of my brief is to be on the lookout for um, uh, the right projects and teams um, in the countries that I work in. So. And which of the countries do you think that have the greatest potential in the medium term? Um, I think in sub-Saharan Africa, Kenya is currently the front runner. I mean, if you look at the, the level of innovation that's going on um, around things like in Pesa, where you can, you, know, you can now walk into a supermarket and pay for your groceries with a text message, um, Kenya is, is, is the most advanced mobile money economy in the world. 
Um, uh, I think there's huge potential in Nigeria. There's uh, a lot of potential in, in Ghana. I think places are starting from such a low base in some ways that, it, you know, although Kenya is now the front runner, it'd be very easy for a couple of small innovations to happen in another market and for that market to suddenly explode and, uh, and, and leapfrog and go ahead. Um, across the whole region, I mean, the, 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 the rate of growth is so much faster than, um, you know, it has been anywhere else in the world. So um, I'm seeing the kind of explosive growth of the internet that, that you know, in the, in, from sort of 1994 to 1999 happened in the UK and we thought, wow, this is happening mm. so fast, that thing's really taking off. That, that it's sort of being compressed into, into a fifth of the time scale in Africa. So. Um, what did you do in the UK and how do you get, in a sense, from the UK to being here? Um, so uh, I did a whole bunch of things in the UK. I was involved at the beginning of um, uh, Virgin Mobile, which is the, the, the first mobile virtual network operator. Um, I founded a website called upmystreet.com, which is a very pop, pop which was a very popular um, local portal, and I uh, then did a digital printing business called Moo.com. Um, and uh, I basically came here because um, I saw uh, a huge opportunity with the fact that, that, that the um, Africa was not, you know, essentially not connected to the internet um, via uh, fiber optic cable until two years ago. And then, you know, this coming in at that point they just seemed that you know obviously things were going to explode and go crazy and you know it seemed like a great opportunity. Stefan, thanks for talking to us today. Thank okay. you.